The heavy snow transforms Sai Hanba into a world of white. The trees with their bare branches stand out conspicuously. The yellow larches, green Mongol scotch pines, and white birches intermingle to form a unique range of winter hues. The tree's various colors represent their unique characteristics. On the snow-covered slopes, the dryland elms cast their shadow, creating a landscape resembling a brush ink painting. As a species native to the area, dryland elms are resistant to cold and sandstorms. They usually grow on sunny slopes. The clusters of dryland elms in the Sai Hanba forest improve the ecosystem by compensating for the relative lack of natural trees. The Asian white birches also grow naturally. Fast developing and highly adaptable, they can be found in most parts of Sai Hanba. It's the phelogen in the bark containing betulin and suberin that gives the trunks their bright white color. Because they grow naturally, the patches of birches are distributed randomly. In the Sai Hanba forest, their bare branches are a unique sight. The sandthorn's brightly colored fruits are especially striking against the snow. They can tolerate poor soil and bitter cold. Their roots are susceptible to microbial infection. To prevent it, they form nodules which fix nitrogen in the soil and encourage plant growth. In this way, the sand thorns contribute to improving the soil in Sai Hanba. In winter, the decomposition and reduction of the chlorophyll turns the larches brownish yellow. The mounds of fallen leaves decay and decompose into fine particles. These transform into condensation, which encourages the formation of rain and snow. This, in turn, impacts the precipitation in Sai Hanba. The man-made large forests are evenly sized and neatly arranged. Against the backdrop of the winter snow, they are reminiscent of exquisite designs on canvas. The snow transforms Sai Hanba's colors and highlights the tree's characteristics. Through their styles and appearance, the various trees express themselves and give rise to Sai Hanba's ecological uniqueness.